Good morning. Dreamers, you thought I forgot. I'm just kidding. I can't tell you what you thought because only you know what you thought. <laughs> Had a wonderful sleep last night. I uh, went to bed a little late, um, but I spent the evening hanging out with a couple friends over the Bible. We're studying Second Peter uh, right now, and then I also hung out with my 13-year-old, and we are working our way through the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and um, so then I went to a bed made with fresh new sheets and it was lovely and I didn't want to get out of that bed this morning I did I did get out but I didn't want to oh hiccup I'm so sorry but I had the weirdest dream and we were all walking around inside and I don't even know who we is just there were lots of people and there were no masks and one of us one of the people was just like, because I was like, where's my mask? Where's my mask? I was looking for my mask. And um, one of the people said, um, when culture is truly healthy, we don't need a mask. And uh, this was not in any way a, a political, I woke up and realized this is not a political statement at all. This is not an anti-mask statement. I had been texting a friend later last night because um, there's some things going down in our neighborhoods um, as far as people not obeying mask mandates and not obeying uh, public health regulations. And so there's a lot of people angry that they're being disciplined for it. And so we had been, I'd been showing him some texts because um, they're in relation to to something that we're discussing. But um, anyway, it was it was just like this dream was just like, yeah, you know what? It was taking something that is a reality in our community and our culture right now, the need for a mask. And I'm not here to argue with you one way or the other. That's not the issue in this little good morning. I did not mean to bring up a subject that might be touchy for you. That's never, I want this to be a positive place where we can learn and grow. But when I woke up and I started to process, because I'm like, Lord, what is that? Am I just, am I just eager for a time when, right? But there was that statement made in my dream. When a community is healthy, they don't need to wear a mask. Right now, our community is not healthy. We must wear a mask. Now you know my stand on it, point blank. But this past April, I have spent time in communities where because of COVID in real life, these communities are online. And these communities, like I just got off a video chat with a, a health and wellness community and we took we've taken off our masks right we're helping each other understand ourselves and us as a whole and we're encouraging and not one of us is the same and several of us are doing my are my i'm doing it too that's why it was my but the uh, 67 day challenge till July 1st. Some of us are doing that. Some of us aren't We're talking about how different things work for different people. And nobody's trying to fake our way through it. We're trying to be honest and real and encouraging each other. And I thought, yeah, this is what my understanding and my processing of my mind and spirit were telling me in my dream state, right? Like, I am engaging in very real mask off communities, even though I'm not actually inside a church building, for instance. And I thought, wow, when a community is healthy, there's no need for masks. So my friend, my dreaming friend, are you part of an authentic community? That's my question. I am so blessed to have authentic community, really, truly authentic. 
And parts of that authenticity are dark. Parts of that authenticity are hard to deal with. Let's be real. They're heavy and they weigh us down sometimes, but they help us process. Like one of my communities at the moment is dealing with trauma. That's hard stuff. But every one of us in that specific community has said, you know what? I'm willing to fight to make this place safe for you and for me. And it's so beautiful to hear that. So are we fighting for each other's safety? And I'm not talking about love. I'm talking about spiritual, healthy, thriving relationships. Or are we covering something up? Are we holding ourselves back? That doesn't mean we just tell the whole world what's going on in our hearts. That's not what I'm saying. But do we have pockets of places, pockets of community where we can be authentic, real, and mask free. Breathe deeply today, my friend. If you're looking for that kind of community, I have some places you could visit because I'm privileged enough to belong to them. And I know it is a privilege. And I have to look at what do I do with that privilege and how do I live in that privilege and still thrive? I know it is a privilege. But any community is only as great as your willingness to dive deep and get involved and be present in it. If you're just sitting on the outskirts and you're saying, I expect them to come to me. They're not coming to me. I'm an introvert. They're not coming to me. They're awful people. I have seen that time and time and time again. And friend, that is not how it works. That doesn't mean you have to be upfront. It doesn't mean you have to run the show. It doesn't mean you have, but, but be authentically open saying this terrifies me. Please help me be present. That's how you start dreaming again. And one day you'll see you're in a community that is healthy and doesn't need to wear masks. Today's a good day to have a good day. How about you try it? Sweet dreams.